Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. We got another tutorial video coming up here. Do not adjust your monitor right now. Take a look at the Space Invader cabinet. We got a situation here. Our screen's a bit off. Uh, it's not looking right. We're going to fix all that on here. We're going to rotate this screen so it's uh, in the right display vertical stance on here. So let's get to it. Now, initially what we've always been accustomed to, we'd go to our config.txt file and then scroll all the way in the bottom there. We would enter display underscore rotate equals three. And then to help prevent the screen tearing, you put extra transpose buffer equals two. And this was easy, it was simple to do. Um, one line on here and it fixed everything the emulation the text the games everything went into vertical stance but as time went on on here um, you can no longer do this on the pi 4 and also performance wise um, when you start playing games like the vertical shooters some of the high-end games uh, uh, you'll experience some performance so we're going to fix all that make this accessible as you can see right now on the emulation screen um, we're not in the right sense, but first let, let's go to our uh, Raspberry Pi configuration from the RetroPie menu. Let's make sure we got the right resolution set up on here. Um, go down to Advanced Options. And then you're going to go down to Resolution. Now on the Arcade 1UP, there's two groups. You have on the top, it's CEA is the first group, DMT on the bottom, second group, and then each one has a mode. For my Samsung TV on here, uh, 1080, I use that one, one uh, group one, mode 16. But for the arcade one up here, we're gonna choose the ones all the way on the bottom here. The, the one I like is group two, mode 32, uh, four by three. Uh, a lot of the uh, the third generation, the newer ones, uh, I use the A54 here. Either one's fine though. I'm gonna go with the uh, mode 32 which is the 4x3 we're going to set that up select it click finish and then go into file manager from the RetroPie menu into file manager uh, click the two dots on top go back go back again then we're going to select OPT RetroPie configs and then all from here Highlight auto start.sh and press the F4 button on your keyboard. That will edit the file. Here, choose the number one, hit enter. Uh, go to the end of emulation station. Before auto here, um, add in a space and then type this out. This will uh, convert the emulation station to be uh, in the vertical stance. It's two dashes, uh, screen rotate spacebar number three now if you're using a different uh monitor you might have to do one but for arcade one up purposes it's the number three then it's uh two dashes again screen size now the screen size depending which one you picked and you're going to put the lower number first because remember we're putting this in vertical which was 1280 by 960 but on here we're going to type it 960 space 1280 the other one, I believe, was 1024, so it would be 1024, 1280. Okay, Control X, Y for yes, and Enter. And that will save this file. Now, you could uh, also access that auto start file from our RetroPy script in the configuration tools. Uh, the third one down here, auto start. And then if you click on manual edit, that will also take you to the screen. You could also edit it over here, as you can see. Our configuration is already inputted on here as well. So, and there we go. Uh, emulation station has been corrected. It's at the uh, right aspect on here in the vertical view, how we want it. But um, our text is still similar. So, that what we're going to do next. Let's fix the text to make it vertical as well. From the uh, command line or if you're using terminal type in sudo nano slash boot slash cmd line dot text you might be uh, familiar with this. so this is where we uh, generally remove the logo and the text 
uh, all the way at the end of the line. Uh, make sure you keep it on that first line though. Uh, hit space, then type video equals HDMI dash A dash one to two dots. And then the screen resolution we're using, which is 1280 by 960 M, the at sign 60, comma, and put rotate equals 90. Uh, once again, if you're using a different monitor, you might have to do 270 on here. RK1 purposes will be 90. Uh, let's save this. So we're going to do Control X, Y for yes, and hit Enter. Okay, lastly, we want to get the splash screen on here. Now, I have these files in the description. You could download it. Just drop them in the splash screen folder of your Retropy folder on there. Once you have that, uh, we're going to choose the splash screen, the first one on top. Click Enter. And then we're going to select our own, which is the second one on there. As you can see, there's the RK1 up splash regular and then the vertical. In this case, we're using the vertical one. Make sure you select and download the right one. As you can see, the text is correct. We got our splash screen to, to uh, appear as it should with the loading. And then lastly, our emulation station which we already uh, configured is in the vertical stance. Um, we're, we have to now do the games. Uh, the games are still going to appear the wrong way. If I load up Donkey Kong, as you can see, it's still not the way we want it. We want to put it in the vertical. So we're going to exit out of here, go into RetroPie menu, and um, go back into File Manager. Once you're in the file manager, we're going to need to go back again. So the two dots on top, two dots again, and I pick OPT, RetroPie, Configs. You could do all. This purpose, we're only using Arcade. So go to Arcade, and then highlight RetroArch. Then you're going to click F4 to edit the file. And once you're in here, you got to put the cursor, it's going to have to be above the number include. So let's put a space here. And then you're going to type out this command here. It's video underscore allow underscore rotate. Then spacebar equals uh, quotations uh, true. And the quotations again. Hit enter. Put another command here. It's video underscore rotation space equals quotes the number one and then quotes again I'll have these in the description as well you could just copy and paste them if you're on the uh, terminal or party uh, let's save there hit F10 to exit out and lastly we also want to go into our RetroPie script so from the menu RetroPie menu hit RetroPie script then config, configuration, you're going to want to come down to config, edit. In here, the first one, configure, basic lib retro. And then let's select arcade. And then we're going to come down to aspect ratio. We'll make this so, uh, we're going to click the 4x3. Now, if you use the other one, you're going to uh, go down to the 5x4. Uh, this helps prevent if some of the uh, vertical games is, you know, uh, size is smaller or bigger on there, it uh, fits the screen. So if we boot up uh, Donkey Kong, load this up, everything should be good, which it is. As you can see, it takes up the, uh, the whole screen there. It's in the vertical view, just how we want it. And that's all there is to it. So the games, emulation, everything is set up on here. Uh, lastly is the attract mode. Now, if you use any of my images, this is already going to be done for you, so you don't got to do this. But let's say you want to use a different image or somebody else's image um, that you have. Um, the way you do this, we're going to go back to our RetroPie menu, back to the, uh, the file manager on there. 
um, and we're going to need to edit a file. Select the bottom one, the first first one on top there, which is Attract. Hit Enter. Come down to Layouts. Then we're going to select the one up, and then Layout dot not. Highlight that. Click F4 to edit it. Then we're going to need to put a cursor down here, anywhere in the middle. That's fine. Um, let me just hit enter, break a line there, and type this out. Um, it's going to be fe dot layout dot orient, O R I E N T, equals big R, rotate, big S, screen dot left, big L, and then the uh, semicolon. Now you may need to do right for, for arcade one up, it's going to be left. Control X, hit Y, enter. And let's go back into attract mode. And there you go. It's been fixed. It's back to the vertical view. Uh, any questions you guys may have, any comments on there, uh, let me know. Uh, like I said, this should work on any of the Pi images, any Pi that you want to use, including the Pi 4, which actually I'm using. Um, in this uh, tutorial. Um, I should have another video coming up shortly. Um, we have the on and off switch and the volume switch that's working on the Pi 4. Oh yeah, that's coming up.